I'm new here with the Vault Things Tech, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a bootable flash drive and all the benefits of having one. So stay tuned, and I will see you on the other side. Creating a bootable flash drive can have several benefits, especially if you're looking to have a separate computer on the stick and a cost-effective operating system. The number one benefit is cost-effective. If you cannot afford a new computer, creating a bootable flash drive with your desired operating system could be a cost-effective alternative. You can use the hardware of another computer to run the operating system, eliminating the need to purchase a new device. Number two is portability. Having a bootable flash drive allows you to take the operating system with you. So you can use it on any computer that supports booting from a USB drive. This make it easy to switch between different computers, work on the go, or troubleshoot issues with other devices. So all right, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and download Rufus. So open your web browser. And go to Google and search for Rufus. We're going to go to the first link and we're going to go ahead and go down here and download the latest and greatest Rufus. All right, guys, once you have Rufus downloaded, go ahead and go into that downloads folder and go ahead and run that program. I'm going to skip this part because I already have Rufus downloaded. For this tutorial, we're going to be using Kali Linux. So let me go ahead and search for Kali Linux download and continue. So we're gonna go into the search bar and search for Kali Linux download. We're gonna go to this link here. And we click out of this right here. They have made it super easy. So we're gonna go to live boot. So with the USB flash drive, let's go ahead and click this. And we are going to actually go down to the 64 bit. And we're going to go right here to the recommended downloads and click download. So we're going to let that ISO download and I will be right back. Once you're done downloading the ISO file, let's go ahead and move to the next step. I'm going to go here to find out the exact folder my ISO file downloaded in. So go here and click show folder and we can see it's right here. Just make note of where it's at. All right. So let me go ahead and click out of this and we can minimize our browser and we're going to go ahead and launch Rufus. So let me go ahead and double click Rufus, click yes. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put my USB flash drive in. So once I put my flash drive in, Windows should automatically detect your flash drive. We're going to go ahead and verify that this is indeed my flash drive. And let's make note that everything on this flash drive will be erased during this process. So if you have something on this flash drive, please go ahead and do a backup. I am not responsible for any data loss. If you're okay with that, let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial. So we're going to keep everything pretty much default. All we're going to do is select that ISO file, which is here in downloads. And then we're going to go down and we could leave it Cali live and we're going to go ahead and hit start. And you're going to go ahead and write an ISO image mode recommended hit. Okay. And it's going to give us that warning that, Hey, everything on this flash drive is going to get erased. Go ahead and hit. Okay. And we're gonna let it do its magic. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part. All right, once the status bar reaches 100% green and it says ready, we could go ahead and eject our USB flash drive. All right, so all we need is something like a laptop, plug our USB flash drive in it, and restart the computer. I'm gonna be using a Dell laptop. We could go ahead and continuously press F12. Select your USB flash drive. 
hit enter and then you want to wait until it loads up and that's it all right guys if this video helped you please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace